Good morning, how's everybody doing? Um, I know it's been a while since I posted a video because uh, I haven't really done a whole lot. We've been busy uh, working on the camper and camping. So um, we got back um, from a trip a few days ago and now I'm gonna kind of get back to some projects. So I'm just gonna give you a quick update on what's going on around here. Haven't done anything to the Jeep lately because it doesn't need anything. Um, gone on a few little Jeep rides, but nothing too crazy. Uh, we've mostly been working on mini bikes. Um, we got Saul, my son, his mini bike painted and all put together, and now we're working on mine. Uh, I, w I was waiting on parts, I finally got them. Uh, the bearings for the steering stem. So now that I have that stuff, uh, it's going to go together. I might do a little assembly video um, on that. Then I've kind of been going through all my stuff and trying to downsize everything. I've got all these uh, Jeep parts I've saved over the years. Sorry, my shop's kind of a mess. And I just don't need it all. I'm sick of having all this stuff laying around here waiting for stuff to break to replace and nothing ever breaks. So um, I also have this uh, Mercedes diesel engine that I don't know if I'm ever going to get to. So we might be selling that as well. Um, but I did want to cover one topic that I think a lot of us um, Jeep people struggle with sometimes is you sell something big or you post something big and heavy and it's, you know, you want it or you want to sell it, but everybody that wants it uh, isn't around you. So uh, I know whenever I'm looking for, say, a transmission, they're all out west or they're all down south or something like that. So um, us people that build things sometimes have trouble connecting with other people near us to get parts. Um, so I sold a differential. I'll show you it's out here because I'm never going to use it. It is a offset Dana 44 with 538s and uh, the power track um, differential. Sold this to a guy in uh, I think Illinois or Indiana or something like that and we're going to ship it through Fastenal. Uh, that's a hardware store uh, that also utilizes their empty truck space to ship heavy things to other Fastenal stores. So this is the first time I've ever done that. Um, the buyer took care of the payment and the shipping arrangements, so I just take it to uh, local Fastenal this morning and hopefully it goes smooth. So I will update you on how that goes because I've always wondered about it, never done it. Um, and now I'm doing it at someone else's expense, but it's going to help them out and uh, get some parts out of my shop. So uh, that's what's on tap for today. And we'll try to do a little update and let you know how that goes in case you want to use uh, Fasten All to ship your heavy stuff for your projects. So that's where we're at. Check in again soon. We are pulling into Fasten All right now. Um, so far, it's gone pretty smooth I just called the store the other guy had it all set up and they said I just gotta come down and drop it off so I don't know if they're gonna have me pull around back or bring a forklift out front or what but um, we'll see how it goes
dropped off the differential. It was pretty easy. The lady was pretty intense. <laughs> she was a little intimidating, but uh, got the job done. And now hopefully, said he could have it by the end of the week. Um, but they said don't get your hopes up. So I got a tracking number. And as soon as that registers, we'll keep an eye on it. And uh, hopefully it goes smoothly. It was pretty easy on my end because he's paying for it all. And he set everything up. Um, so, yeah. So I'll keep you updated on shipping heavy items through Fastenal. You guys got anything to say? Nope. Nope. Did you like watching the forklift? Yeah. Yeah.